More on a developing story out of northeastern Pennsylvania. Two state troopers ambushed outside of police barracks. One trooper was killed, the other wounded. It happened overnight east of Scranton in Pike County. And joining me now by phone is Jessica Matthews, Metro Editor from the Scranton Times Tribune. Jessica, with a welcome, what do we know about the details at this point in terms of where these officers were and who the shooter may be or, or shooters? Hi, Alex. Um, I am talking to you from our newsroom in Scranton, and we are waiting for the state police commissioner, Frank Noonan, to make a statement at 2.30. And we're hoping that there will be more information about this horrible incident. Um, what we do know is that right now they are talking with a person of interest in the shooting, and we don't, and no one has been charged. We don't have a lot of detail about it. Um, they have, you know, troopers are still out there. There, there are troopers from new, neighboring New Jersey and New York, as well as all over Northeast Pennsylvania, trying to assist in this. Um, it's been a long night. I, I live about maybe six miles from the barracks, and I can tell you all night there were helicopters with searchlights, you know, flying overhead, and, you know, everybody was sort of on lockdown. Yeah, w which would explain why it took uh, less than 12 hours to have somebody brought in as a person of interest. Uh, that kind of a, a manhunt would, would yield that sort of uh, result there. But, Jessica, um, is anyone talking about a possible motive here, given where this happened? I mean, these two officers were, as we understand it, outside the barracks. I mean, if you're familiar with the facility, would it be hard to see someone outside the barracks? Is it at all protected in a wooded area? I mean, would it have to be intentional to get there? The barracks are sort of in the middle of nowhere, but it is an open barrack. There's an mm. open parking lot. The front doors are facing the main road there. So, you know, if somebody were to ambush them, say, from across the street, it really wouldn't be that difficult, uh, especially if you're dealing with someone who is an experienced shooter. Uh, it's a big hunting area around there. There's a lot of state forest land. Okay. So it wouldn't be that difficult. Okay. Jessica Matthews from the Scranton Times Tribune. Thank you so much, Jessica. And we start this hour with an urgent manhunt in Pennsylvania for whoever uh, ambushed two state troopers late last night. One trooper was shot and killed. Another was wounded. Police say that they're searching for a suspect or suspects. They're not quite sure now. They do not have a description yet. They do say that the attack was directed at Pennsylvania State Police. Joining us now is CNN's Nick Valencia, and on the phone is CNN law enforcement analyst Tom Fuentes. Nick, let's start with you. First of all, is there any indication that there were surveillance cameras outside of this police barracks? That question was asked at a press conference earlier this morning, but the uh, head of the police department unwilling to comment on that. We know right now interviews are ongoing surrounding the case. No arrests have been made, but police continuing to search for the suspect or suspects surrounding the shooting. The manhunt is on for a cop killer. The uh, individual who perpetrated this uh, heinous crime uh, is still at large. We do not have a description uh, or any real information on, on their identity. Whoever it was, the person or persons shot and killed one Pennsylvania state trooper and injured another in an ambush on state police barracks overnight. The shooting occurred around 11 p.m., about 35 miles outside of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Investigators say they're following a number of leads, but do not have a motive. The names of the troopers have not been released. The injured officer was hospitalized. Doctors overnight performed emergency surgery, and he remains in stable condition. This attack seems to be directed particularly at the Pennsylvania State Police. We are putting every resource available to the Pennsylvania State Police or law enforcement in Pennsylvania in, uh, in action. And it's not just Pennsylvania officers involved in the search. Hundreds of officers from multiple agencies, including New York and New Jersey, are involved in the hunt, on the ground and in the air. We're also focused on our investigation. I'm sure that uh, this is going to be a very difficult time for them, as it is going to be for all of us uh, uh, when we're done working to, to get this uh, terrible crime solved. A massive manhunt underway in that rural area. There is no shelter-in-place order so far. Uh, the police tell the public and the media that they don't believe there is an ongoing threat to the public, uh, but they do believe that these officers were targeted. They didn't elaborate on why they thought those officers were targeted. And last hour, Deb, we got a statement from the governor of Pennsylvania. I want to read part of that to you now. It says, uh, every attack on an officer of the law is an attack on our state, our country, and civilized society. 
The incident in Blooming Grove shows once again that our first responders face constant danger in order that the rest of us may live in peace and safety. Terrible tragedy there that they're dealing with, the Pennsylvania State Troopers. Deb. All right, Nick Valencia and Tom Fuentes also on the phone with us. And Tom, I want to ask you a, a couple of questions. The nature of this attack, for somebody to go up to a police barrack and actually open fire, what does that suggest about the motive? Is this somebody who has a hatred for all police, a hatred for these police in particular? Um, what does it tell you? Well, it says that uh, either one is possible, Deborah. It could be some type of a vendetta against one of the two officers, and then the other officer just happened to be around and uh, got caught up in being shot. Or it could be just a general, uh, you know, for the police department as a whole or for any police, uh, regardless of what department it is. Uh, you know, we had an expression when I was a, a young police officer that you're not concerned about the bullet that has your name on it. You're concerned about the thousands of bullets that are addressed to whom it may concern. And so we don't know, you know, right now we don't know whether either one is the case. And so, Tom, you know, some of these barracks, they're, they're sort of, the barracks are usually positioned on very highly trafficked venues, whether it be a highway, <laughs> whether it be sort of across, you know, across a, a street. Uh, is this possible that this was simply a crime of opportunity? So, you know, two people or one person, we don't know how many, but, but somebody just, just figured, why not? Let me do this. Well, it's possible, but, you know, normally the, the barracks are, you know, situated.